this is for some residents of Decoven, Kentucky. Are you listening? Now, I was told on Facebook that the residents of Decoven, Kentucky was mad. And they're calling me crazy and all kinds of bad stuff. Well, they were mad when I pulled up and found out. They found out I didn't drink and smoke and drug. That's right. When I was down at the Coven Bottoms. Now, I called the Coven Devil's Haven for a very good reason. And you're going to hear that reason. Oh, if you're mad, you're really going to be mad now. You see, I believe you had something to do with me getting put out of this trailer. Now, one man says he's on the devil's side. He used to be a pastor. Now, I told these people to leave me alone. They didn't. So I started pushing record. Yeah, I don't play. Then, another young man that it either is engaged or married. Yeah, I told him to leave me alone. They didn't. So I pushed record. You're going to hear these people. You see, DeCobin is mad because I'm not evil. Oh, I push back. I fight back. I expose them. So Facebook, you're really going to have something to talk about now. You think I'm crazy? What about your pastor, ex-pastor that says he's on the devil's side? What about one of your best friends asking an old woman broke down for sex? Listen close. These are your neighbors. This man is named Scott H. He works at Riverview Coal. He drives a red truck. I told him to leave me alone. And they would bother me at 1 o'clock in the morning. That's right. Cell phones. Remember what I told you? Listen. He admits he's on the devil's side. All right, you heard that, right? Now, this young man, after I've told him to leave me alone, comes down and asks for sex. Oh, I bet I heard his ego saying no. I'm probably the only female in the world that's ever said no to this guy. Listen. I can't stand a liar. And don't open your mouth and say you're going to do something that you can't do. Listen to this. After several visits at 1 o'clock in the morning on the weekends by these people, and I was already told by other residents that where I was camping, nobody ever came down there. Well, they come down to the dump. It was a dump site. But when I moved, well, I moved in there. When I camped down there, oh, it was a, it was a busy place. Listen. Now, this young man is Sammy Dale Robinson, and I believe he works at the mines also. These are people you work with. Disturbing my peace, pretending to find out to ask me how am I doing. And after they asked me do I need anything a couple of times, and I told them I need wa food and water, they brought me some water, and they brought me one box of food, but never brought me any more food when, I asked, when they asked me if I needed anything. I said I need food. They didn't bring any. They just come they down to be nosy. Coal miners. They have money. Anyway, the last encounter, next to the last encounter, I told Scott, y'all just don't check on me. Listen. One small box of food that lasted three days in two weeks is not taking care of me. We're keeping okay? you alive. Wow. Now, I finally had enough of him their nightly visits, and I told them, just don't check on me. Now, I 
Jones, as polite as I can be, don't check on me means don't come down here and bother me. Well, it's a public place. My campsite is my personal space. Now, the following weekend, you're not going to believe this. His partner in crime come down to ask for sex. Listen. After I told these three nice people not to check off me again, I'm pretty clear about it. On July the 29th at 1.08 a.m., one of the men came back the week from when I told him not to check on me again. That's his girlfriend. Yeah. Listen. Yeah. You alright? Yeah. Alright. We just come, we, we, we just riding down here. You okay? Yeah. Alright. You cool if I come back down here in a minute? Uh, y'all can party out there, but I, I don't want to be bothered, honey. I'm just saying. Alright. Thank you. Just spray me down. Alright, honey. You like it. Right. Can't come down here and have no sex. No. No? No. Yeah. Alright. Now, I've been as nice as I could be, and as polite as I could be. Nice one out the window. Now, this is why they're bad-mouthing me on Facebook. This is a real reason. Okay? They don't know anything about me. I don't smoke, drink, I don't have sex with them. I don't put up with their crap. Yeah, you had something to do with me getting put out of this trailer. So you're all guilty. Okay? Now God's got something for you. And you ain't gonna like what's coming. Do you hear me? Now that's why I called DeCoven, Kentucky, Devil's Haven. Because that's what they act like. So you can badmouth me all you want to. You see this? Protection. Weapon. How about that? Yeah, I'm homeless and I'm not a bit scared of you. You want to come shoot me? Shoot me. You want to badmouth me? Badmouth me. You're exposed. Now Scott Haynes, I think his name, Hayes, I don't know. Works at Riverview Co. He says he's on the devil side. Now, there's one or two options of how you can take that. He's crazier than hell, and you don't want to work with him. Okay? Or, he's really a devil. And you better get away from him. Now, Sammy Dale, I liked him all right as a person. And I call everybody honey, sugar, and sweetie. I had never gave that man any inclination that I wanted to be with him. None. His belly overlaps his belt. He probably has to have a magnifying glass and tweezers to take a pee. Okay. Oh, did that make you mad? No, that wasn't very Christian. It really wasn't. You're right. But it's true. His girlfriend is named Brandy. She's all right, I reckon. I just don't like them green eyes. There's something about green eyes I just don't like. Imagine that. Well, I'm going to tell you why I don't like green eye people. Because I've been assaulted by them, I've been lied to by them, and more. Now, DeCoven, Kentucky, if you were mad then, I bet you're really mad now. Oh, I've got a whole lot more videos with a whole lot more of your people on it. Would you like for me to publish those? No, it's not blackmail, because I'm not asking you for nothing. It's intent. Okay? Yeah, I got more of your people on there. Would you like to hear? Would you like the world to hear what Devil Devil's Haven is all about? Drive down through there. They got skulls and crossbones, and it is what it is. Period. Now I'm sure there's a few nice people there, and if there is, they're medicated, so they can't see their neighbors. So. Facebook, now you really have something to talk about. The woman that you've been talking about that you know nothing about really isn't crazy. Your neighbors are. How about that?
Now, let me tell you people about this uh, telling me I ain't Christian. Let me explain something to you. Christians are not cowards. They're not medicated. Christians are very, very brave warriors. No, I'm not kidding. Moses smote an Egyptian. He went up against Pharaoh. David slew Goliath. Oh, it, gets, it, it goes on and on and on. Christians are not cowards. They're bold. They're righteous in judgment. They're not drinking and smoking, and they're not on the devil's side. Now, the devils can see Christians, just like Scott could see what I was. So he intended to cause me all kinds of trouble. Well, Scott, you and Sammy are exposed. And let me tell you, if I have any more trouble, I intend on putting the rest of you on there. Yeah, I'm not kidding. Now, they're scheduled. You know what that means? That means in January, if I'm frozen to death somewhere and can't get there to reschedule it, you're exposed. That means if I'm in jail somewhere and I can't get back to reschedule those videos, you're all exposed. One of your people shooting a cat because it scratched them? Really? And I know all of Scott's awful history. Would you like to know his history about his family and what happened to his brother? No, you wouldn't want that public, would you? So, this is David, you're Goliath, and I have a stone. Do you get it? No, it's not blackmail, it's intent. You caused me trouble, I just caused you trouble back. What you gonna do now? You gonna cause me more trouble? Oh, I'll just push, publish, and just put it all out there. It don't bother me a bit. I have nothing to lose. Do you understand me? Nothing. I'm on God's side, devils. And that makes you mad. You couldn't have sex with me. That makes you mad. I'm not like you, and that makes you mad. You're on Facebook, and you're mad. Now, I forgive you, but you can still stay mad. Because I can bring more if you need me to. Because God told me when to click. The record button. You came down there looking for trouble and you found me. I'm not troubling unless you start it. Told you to leave me alone. You didn't. I moved into this camper. I'm sure you had something to do with interfering with me staying here. Devil Kobe in Kentucky. The bottoms. It's as real as it gets. Peace.